There's boys in the pool room Large bottles and Nike runners Jukebox banging out dance tunes The shouting jokes about each other's mothers At the bar there's a new face He's only there for the girl who won't text him back He's trying to crack her bad ways But he won't be able to handle that He don't know she's a wild thing Playing on his heartstrings, enjoying all the free drinks, doesn't care what he thinks. The Saint is about, um, well, I wrote The Saint in complete desperation. I was in the, my father had an office in the house, but it's now, com, it was converted into a room for my nanny, but at the time it was, um, God rest her. At the time my dad had an office and I used to go in there when I'd be coming down off the drink and I'd write the... I'd write my songs in there. It would, it would get hot and sweaty and all your demons would come out. But um, I was bit up. I was torn apart. And um, I could only... I was lying like this. And I could only get two chords. And um, I wrote The Saint. It just it just came. I, I, I believe it came from somewhere up there because... I heard Eddie Vedder say one time that there's two types of songs. One, you're just a conduit. You're just there. You're just a tool and it comes out of you. And that was one of them. And the others, you're just, it's like a wall and you build it. But this was, just came. And the song about the saint is you're looking for assurance and you want something to appear to you or you're hoping someone's going to tell you there's a heaven and you, you've done, you've done okay and right, you've done wrong and you're forgiven, but everything's okay. You're to stop worrying and, it's basically complete anxiety and you want to just someone to come appear to you and just say everything is okay. And that was the saint. And the night before, the night before I wrote the saint, I begged my mother to give me some of her, um, she has tablets for her back. They're like Valium, they're muscle relaxants. And she wouldn't give them to me because I was going into the complete uh, horrors, the I was shaking DTs. I thought I was going to have an alcoholic fit or something. Or, and she gave me a book of Padro Pio. And um, Scent of the Roses is the name of the book. And I held it. I didn't read it. I just held it. And I didn't. Eat. I got through the night. And that next morning, I was still in bits. and got down to my father's office. And I wrote The Saint. And it just, it just came out like that. It, as the years went on, meant more because... One of my best friends in the world then became Dave Lally. And we ended up calling him Saint Dave. Shane McGon christened him Saint Dave. I said to, I was talking about Dave and Shane said, what Dave? And I said, Dave Lally. He said, oh, Saint Dave. I said, why do you call him Saint Dave? He said, he gives his unconditional love to everyone bar himself. And it was the most beautiful thing. So Dave became my best friend, manager, brother. He was everything. He was, I was part of his house in London. He was part of my house here in Nina. And we just became deeply, deeply connected. So he was Saint Dave. And so now the Saint is Dave's song in my head, in my heart. Yeah. And um, Dave is now, I suppose Dave is the Saint when I, when I sing about the Saint. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully he'll appear to us again. Yeah. And this is for Dave Lally. The bed of heaven to him. And happy Christmas to his mother Nancy. Give me constant reassurance or take all questions away. Lift these bricks from my anxious soul Appear to me today Don't come with fire and smoke Don't show and make me choke Just gently give me hope And help me find a way Minutes feel like hours when you're waiting on a saint. It 
every forecast is thunder showers in a constant worried state. Dream is in the wishing well, taught of heaven when in hell. The Holy Ghost is going to make the most when he hears I've tripped and fell. Make it pure and honest, or let it come from the source. Let heaven's light shine through me, holding no remorse. Strip me bare of all my thoughts, philosophies, you can have them all. Everything I was ever thought You can make it go away Oh, the vital years Are on the horizon Drink the water Drop the poison Big drums will play Bells will be rung saint will come You'd need a poet to describe Dave, wouldn't you, Tom? Oh, yeah. There was no one like him, and no one ever will be like him. I'll give a description. An example. We were walking from... What pub was it? I'm not sure what pub it was in London, but we were going to a nightclub. And every homeless person we passed along the way, Dave went in and got food. And a hot drink for them. And we got into the nightclub and he looked out and he seen the, this one that he missed on the way up. And he left and went and got him food. He could not pass a homeless person. Yeah. And we weren't that flush. We weren't that flush. We were going out. And he had to make sure that every one of them were fed along his path, along the way. And that's that might sound like a cliche of a saint. But he really was a saint. Yeah. It was from his heart. He couldn't go in and enjoy a drink if he seen them people outside on the street. That's that's Dave Lally. That's Dave's, Dave's favorite saying to me was, "Now don't you go and give him that to Shane or anyone else you." Yeah. Because every time I buy you something, he said, "You always give it to somebody else." He said. Yeah. And he was on about the photograph. That's the photograph we have over there now. We were in them. Um, Myself and Tom and John Cromer went to London to meet Dave. We first met Nancy and Nancy came out and says, I heard you're fond of a drink, James. She gave me her box of fags, a big glass of whiskey. Yeah. It was half ten in the morning and Cromer says, Nancy, he has to make the gig yet. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
and Nancy. If Nancy's watching this, I hope she knows how many lives they've saved. Absolutely. Many times I was down rock bottom. You're meant to only hit rock bottom once, but I was there a thousand times. And he got me up a thousand times out of rock bottom. Dave, that's what Dave was there for. When I was down that low, he was able to come and pull me out of it.